So while we're on the subject of FTR, they won Tag Team of the Year, and they were one mm-hmm. half of the uh, FTR versus Briscoe's Feud of the Year. And Tony and Khan were... couldn't shut up about this. <laughs> no. 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 All these slides we were showing on the on the video feed <clears throat> from the AEW Twitter account, but there's a conspicuous absence of a congratulatory slide for uh, FTR winning... Uh, Tag team of the year or placing second and fourth in match of the year oh, with wow. the Briscoes and winning yeah. feud of the year to which Dax, uh, I believe retweeted and said, uh, tell me it's April without it's almost April without telling me it's almost April hinting yeah. at when their contracts are coming due. If this to is which, not a work, go ahead, yeah, go ahead to, to which, uh, I think I have it to which, uh, the AEW account replied by congratulating the 13 times and current Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions Jay Briscoe and Mark Briscoe on being awarded the 2022 Feud of the Year with a photo of both Briscoes drinking Dax Harwood's tequila. <laughs> if this isn't a work, and I'm assuming it's a work, this is a real dick move. Oh, it's cold. It, if that, oh my if God. that's for real, then that is that's 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 Mike Gilbert level petty. That's that's supreme petty. And I do respect pettiness. I really do. But I, I do think I don't know. I, I'm leaning towards this being a work. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah. And there I do are, think I still it, think the reason they took those tag belts off of the acclaimed is for FTR to win them. I really believe that. And a lot of people are under the impression that AEW is still working on CM Punk coming back, and if mm-hmm. he came back, he would come back with FTR, and they would yes. all be pissed off at AEW. Yes. And the rumors are everyone's in a tizzy right now, wondering if this is the My case God. because CM Punk's been poking his head around social media, responding to people, being petty on social media, responding to Dax. I think was last Tuesday the only Tuesday we haven't mentioned CM Punk. I think last week was. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. This week he might be on the thumbnail for the show because <laughs> because it, it's just that intriguing. Yeah. So th- that's interesting to me though because I would have to imagine. Let's just say they worked it out, mm-hmm. and and the Thunder Rosa meeting was just a test run for the Punk meeting. A, a Punk meeting. Yeah, like a re- like a well, rehearsal for how the punk meeting would go. And let's just say that they worked it out and everyone's like holds their nose and says, fine, mm-hmm. we'll work together. And punk comes back. Let's just say, for mm-hmm. instance, this weekend, the elite defeats the House of Black for the trio's title mm-hmm. and the lights go out, cult of personality plays, and CM Punk comes out with FTR. FTR are probably two of the most beloved people in AEW. Yeah. I have to imagine CM Punk is probably one of the most hated in most yeah. towns. Listen, as hated as he is, the crowd would go wild. They'd lose their minds. That's true. I probably would too. <laughs> Everyone would lose their minds. Yeah. Kenny Omega would For lose his For a variety of reasons. Yeah. Everyone would lose their minds yeah. and might lose Kenny Omega. We'll come yeah. to that in here in a bit. We could probably get to that right now. I think that's pretty much all the awards. Oh, Kanosuke Takeshita won most underrated, which is awesome. He also yeah. did not get a slide, but did not complain because he's a good young man. That's exactly right. A fine young man. He's a fine young man. And Hook was uh, came in second in Rookie of the Year to who? Braun Breaker of NXT. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Braun's pretty damn good. All right. Now, Kenny Omega is rumored to be wanted by the WWE, it's good to feel wanted. Of yeah. course, WWE wants them. And everybody's losing their minds. Like, oh, AEW, they're such pieces of shit. They're about to lose FTR. <laughs> they're about to lose Kenny Omega. I'm like, yeah. what part of WWE wanting him means they're about to lose him? Yeah. If they bring back CM Punk, they may lose him. But that would be a good way to reason, yeah. I've read a lot about this. And, of course, people in WWE claim they mm-hmm. really want him. But they yeah. also claim... They don't see enough personality there to break the bank for him. Yeah, there's some. I think there's they some would need interesting to break the bank. comments by some of these inside sources. Yeah, 
kind of saying, like kind of throwing shade on them while they say they want them at the same time. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But one, one, one storyline that attaches to this is, is Cody Rhodes. A lot of people believe he had, he is contractually obligated to win the WWE title. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that people see this as a change in how they're handling Cody that could possibly be repeated in Kenny Omega. I don't think they would, they would sign that kind of deal with Kenny Omega because he's not the son of a, the grandson of a plumber. Right. Um, well, as someone pointed out, um, not too long ago that, uh, the two probably most protected people other than Roman Reigns Mm -hmm. in WWE are Charlotte Flair and Cody Rhodes, the children of triple H's two favorite wrestlers of greats of greats. Now, if Cody did go to WWE, um, not Cody, Kenny, 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 I would love to see them make him the new Bret Hart. Oh, I wow. I think that, that would be the way I would go. They both have very Canadian faces, which turned me off a bit. But, um, <laughs> but they can work. The guys can work. Neither was the best promo. No. Kenny, I think, is more. I'm about, man, I'm about to go in on Bret Hart here. Okay. I think Kenny is more creative in the ring than Bret Hart was. I thought Bret Hart had Fair. a lot of matches that seemed the same as his previous matches. Mm-hmm. Um, called it but, the five moves of doom for a reason. Yep. Um, but I think Kenny could be a, a be, mate. All right. Kenny could be a better Bret Hart. I think he could. And I think WWE might see him as, as at, I think for, for Vince and maybe even triple H, I don't know about triple H, I think they need to cease. Oh, he could be the new so and so to mm-hmm. really get somebody over, and I think that would be something that I think they would probably clearly see in Kenny Omega. He doesn't have to be the most charismatic guy in the world. He can be the new Bret Hart. Mm-hmm. Even if he's not the new Bret Hart, I think they might be able to see him as the new AJ Styles, who they yeah. love, who they love. Yeah. And who AJ is probably just rounding the corner towards, you know, slowing down. He's not going to be able to amaze people as much as he used to. Although he's still doing great, but. And for people that think he couldn't have great matches in WWE, he probably would not be allowed to. But if he were allowed to, he'd have you've some. Got, you've got AJ Styles. You've got Seth Rollins. You've got Seth Rollins. You have um, Ricochet. Yep. And you have Nakamura, and Gunter, and oh, and Gunter. That would be, oh my I don't god! Know if I've ever that seen would be that match. That would be phenomenal. Again, if they were allowed to, if they yes. were allowed to, and who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but I don't think Kenny's going anywhere. I it would, I would, it would be a huge loss. It would be a huge it would be loss. it would be very huge. It would it would to lose the two biggest single stars of the original crew would be mm-hmm. crazy. So if we talk about what would what would send Kenny Omega away, I could see it being them choosing to bring back Punk. I don't know yeah. if Kenny would be that spiteful about it. One person who I do think might be that spiteful about it is Hangman Page. Yeah. Listen, and I, his contract's coming up later this year too. They've got a lot of contracts to worry and about he's, right now. He's uh, young and apparently pretty hot-blooded. So he's it, in all this uh, drama that we've talked about incessantly for six months, um, he's the guy who always kind of gets let, let off the hook, but most of it's kind of centered around him in punk. At By the in, way, yeah, hot-blooded is now stuck in my head. Thank you very much. <laughs> the theme song to the TV show. You got a fever of 100 FD. degrees? That's exactly right. Um, <laughs> oh man, all I'm I saying quit. is pa- Paige is a Paige is a young, impetuous young man who could probably make a lot of money in WWE. Yeah, he could, uh, if he did. And, uh, if they, if they were to bring back punk, he's, he may not be as invested in, in staying in AEW as, uh, as a uh, Mr. Omega. That's a really um, good thought. And by and the I way, I also think he would thrive really well in WWE. I hope so. More, more, I wonder who he's small. Page? I'm wondering. Adam Page is small. Is he? He's may, I, I, he's maybe maybe just, six feet, six okay. one, maybe. I don't know. That that would worry me a little bit. But listen, I can't confirm this. I put out some feelers though, and I've had it on good, heard it on good authority 
that bite that Kenny Omega received, uh huh. He can he can he can still feel that to this day when low pressure systems come through. <laughs> Real talk. It's a zoo trick trick bags. elbow. Yeah, yeah. It wakes him up at night, and he just knows low pressure systems coming through. He knows. <laughs> is That's it low pressure that... system, or is it just the ghost of a steel like passing through his apartment? Yeah, that that's probably the low pressure system. That's what brings it about. 